Hi guys, while I don't share low. New Naira swap policy. It don't they cause problem everywhere. As angry youth burned down Access Bank in Delta State during violent protests over Naira scarcity. Nigerian government have to do something about this before this will become something else again. We will come leave the one when we they talk or enter another one. Angry youth in Waritan, Delta State, on Wednesday, set fire to one of the branches of Access Bank while protesting against the persisting scarcity of Naira notes that has forced many businesses across the country to shut down. This was captured in the viral videos showing the angry youth protesting around Udo Road hazards, the, disrupting the vehicle movement and destroying valuable properties in the area. While sharing the video via a Twitter page, a witness said breaking massive protests ongoing in worry around Udo Road as is over the CBN order to stop Old Naira as legal tender access bank on fire. In a similar event, Sahara reporters had also reported how angry youth in Abiokuta, Ogun State, vandalized one of the branches of the First Bank while protesting against the Naira swap policy. This had also been captured in a video showing protesters throwing stones and destroying some properties within the bank's premises. The Central Bank of Nigeria had fixed February 10 as the new deadline for the exchange of old Naira notes for newly redesigned one, having in initially fixed January 31st as the deadline. Many Nigerians are currently unable to obtain the new 200, the 500 and the 1000 Naira note, resulting in scarcity and attendant suffering in the country. This led the youth and some residents of the state to stage the protest. It was also gathered that one of the protesters sustained gunshot injury during the protest. Hmm. But it was sent, it was sent a message to our stone deaf leaders that 1984 experience will be tolerated. Now with devastating effects. I still think that is Buhari ambition that twelfth pulls and ruin democracy so that nobody will be accountable for the huge debt. I do not agree with on the issue of violence. Life is precious and we shall not lose more lives. We shall not continue to damage the remaining infrastructures that we have. International law is clear. People have the right to peaceful protest and freedom of expression and protesters, no matter how angry or aggrieved they may be, should not resort to violence. Okay. These are reactions by Nigerians and they are still talking. Go tell that black Americans who can raise the entire city whenever police kill one black person. Nigerian government is deliberately subjected Nigerians to a perpetual punishment and denying them access to their hard earned money. And all you can do here is quoting international law. Does Nigerian government obey the international law you are quoting here? You sound like one of the profiteers of the corruptions in Nigeria. Probably you have the stock of the new Naira notes in your closet. Are you for the victims or against them? Are you for the oppressed or for the oppressors? If you don't want Nigeria to be to be soon be born to ashes with your court international law, tell the evil government to quickly relieve the suffering of the poor masses. Protest in Nigeria will tend towards violence because in in quality in in quality okay i can't really get that 
Hmm. Nobody advocates for violence through protest. Rather, violence gets born through the out of the anger and the already beating, you know, drawn protesters. And I hope you are not part of the crew, you know, uh, uh, government who beat children mercilessly and at the same time, you know, pinning them not to cry. Honestly speaking, Nigerians are really going through a lot. If this government we see it, we do not really know what they are driving, you know, of uh, to. But the truth remains that even these people they are trying to hide this money from. You'll be surprised that these people have the bags of this new Nera note in their bedroom. So what is what is the need of suffering poor Nigerians? They are already frustrated by the poor, you know, uh, Nigerian policy and all that, Nigerian government policy. It's just like putting salt in, in an injury. You know how it will pay. The Nigerians are really suffering. And if care is not taken, this is going to be, you know, uh, the beginning of all this violence. That is why Nigerian government have to do something. Most banks, you go there and wait throughout the day. At the end of the day, 5,000 naira will be given to you. Ask me, in a country like us, this Nigeria now, where is 5,000 naira going to take you to? So you see, Nigerians are frustrated. That is why all these things, you know, are, are happening. The one when they manage, don't suffer, keep. They cannot get it. They can't get the money. This is really very frustrating. And the Nigerian government have to do something. I'm saying this again. This is how these things, you know, start. Before you see it will grow to something else. That is the reason why they have to do something about what is on ground right now. So, guys, what's your view on this? I'm dropping it in. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you. Thank you.